unpopular opinion. I like the feeling of wearing wet socks. Disgusting. Straight off the bat. Th there is no argument that could be made for liking wet socks. <laughs> Hey everyone, just a quick service announcement before we get into the episode. Unfortunately, around the 38 minute mark, John's video does cut out, so you'll just be seeing this face for the rest of the episode, so apologies for that. But um, I hope you do enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Welcome back everyone to the next episode of Zass Podcast, and we're back again with the one, the only, Lavend. He's back again. He's back again. Oh, thank you, thank you. Round of applause. What's like this, number three? Oh, the, the, the time yes, you've been this here? this is my third. I think I'm a third. Maybe it's it's either second. your third or a fourth. You're, pretty, you're up there. I think it's three. For All sure, right. three. I'll trust you. Third third one, episode 28. You're doing well. <sighs> we made it. We made it. <laughs> episode 28. I'm Wait, feeling good. How do you feel doing podcasts? How do I feel? Yeah, when like, when you, like when, you first start, well, when you first started to how you are now. The first time I was on the show, it was like super weird. I don't know. It was definitely like... Like a new experience. I was definitely mm. trying to say certain things in a certain way. It, I don't know. It's nerve wracking. I feel like at the start, I was very nervous even when I started doing the pod. I, I told you I never uploaded the first. I almost never uploaded the first episode. Oh, really? Yeah, man. Like, it is a skill though, man. Like it's like anything. You can get you the way to control the how mm. you talk to someone and flow of the, of the episode. But I, I like, I like, podcasting because i feel like i am getting better at talking with people i'm starting to try and yeah. do yeah i try to do less ums and less like when i speak and you notice it i try i don't know if i notice it but i try not to do it do you think this translates into like real life i think so i think yeah, so that's interesting i mean it's a, it's a skill that you're doing now like why wouldn't it translate like you're yeah, just true. In interviewing and keeping a conversation flowing it's kind of weird though because sometimes I, f I, I feel my podcast brain turn over and go, I should just ask them questions about them. It's not, and it doesn't even turn into a conversation. It's just interviewing them, interviewing a person now. Oh, when you're in, like in real life situations. Yeah, like if I'm just yeah. talking with someone and, I've, and you know, I was talking with someone and at a Christmas party, I can't remember who it was and then I just kept asking questions about them and I was like, <laughs> this has no substance for me. Yeah. But it, it felt good for them and I was like, yeah, it's, that's all right. That's mad. That's, so it does kind of translate that way. Yeah, okay. But for people listening, so just before we got on the pod, so I asked, I said to John, I'm going to quiz him. I'm going to quiz you, the Levin. Because mm. I tried to find out what generation he was born in. What generation do you think you were born in? Hmm. I think Gen Z is older than me. So I'm born 2000. So Fuck, you're old, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 I'll catch up to the episodes. Um, <laughs> oh, I don't know. Gen. What's the one after Gen Z? So I don't know how right this is. So this is from mccrindle.com.au. And it says the, the types of generations are the builders. And you've got the baby boomers, Gen X, Gen Y, Gen Z, and then Generation Alpha. Okay. So I'm probably that one. Generation Alpha. That's what I thought you were, but com completely wrong, apparently. No. This says you are Generation Z. Gen Z. So I think that's Millennial. Yeah. I think. I'm going to I'm gonna fact check that. Makes that makes sense. Yeah. Millennial. That makes I'm sense. going to Google it. I want to Google it real quick. Millennial. Apologies to people listening. Millennial. Oh, fuck this fucking thing. Millennial. Born on the year two. How crazy is that? Born on the year 2000, by the way. Sometimes I think about the fucking timing of that. That's a pretty sick year to be like born. When you think about it, that's like on the dot a thousandth. Yeah. Like when is anyone else ever going to be born that day? The best part about that is every year it's just... I know my birthday. Yeah, you know so your birthday. So when it's 2023, I'm on 23. That's it's mad. Hectic. It you know what it is? is? <laughs> <laughs> I've got to start using that more. It's so good. So here we go. Millennial generation. Oh, can you just give me a fucking year, Google? Like that's all I want to know. I feel like every website always changes as well. Millennial generation characteristics. No, I don't want to know that. I want to know the year... Millennial generation, bro. Fuck this iPad, honestly. <laughs> it's funny you got an iPad, but you don't have any other Apple products in your whole. I have a, I have Apple headphones. 
and they're fucking hectic. I love Apple headphones, man. You actually sold me on them. Yeah. I remember yeah. I remember ages ago when I was like, oh, should I get a pen? You're like, bro, it's the best best thing you could ever get. It's, a bit, it's such an investment because I use it every single day. I think that's what I was telling you. If you use something Amazing. every single day, I'm going to spend like good money on it regardless of, of what it is. Mm. If I use it every day. 100%. I think that's I don't a, know how compatible it is with like your your like anything else like an, an Android or anything. I know on Apple they make it like so seamless, but obviously it's Apple that they're, they're trying to make it compatible with other Apple products. The only thing that I don't have because I've got Android is the uh, Siri. I don't have the Siri function, but I have everything else. Okay. And I got the second gen because I lost my first pair. Did I tell you I lost my first pair? No, you didn't. <laughs> oh, how'd you do this? I <laughs> so. I was um. It was literally my first day at the at the new place I'm at right now. Yeah. I was on the train, and I I don't like having both ears in. I like to have one in and one out. But with the apples, you don't need to because it's got the um like the transparency mode, That's right, so you yeah. can hear what's around you. And I was like, I just feel uncomfortable having both in, right? So I one in, one out, and I left the case. Jeez, I'm fucking that case is dirty as. The case, um, I left the case in my pocket, but I had these brand new pants, right? <laughs> Not that it makes any difference, but it's like a very slippery material. Uh. <laughs> so, and me, I didn't think anything of it, right? So I had my my wallet and my iPods in there, but my my case was sitting on top of my wallet, right? So when I sat on the train, I didn't realize, and I didn't hear it as well. Yeah, It fell out of my pocket. And it was on the train. And then I had one in from listening to music. I'm off the train. And I, I got to like the city pretty early that day. So I was like, oh, you know what? I'm Because I'm, it was a late start. They told me to get in about 8.30. I thought that's pretty late. So I'm going to go. I'll go to Skittle, get a coffee. And I'll just chill out for about an hour. And then I'll make my way in. Because it wasn't that far from Skittle where I am now. Mm. And I got there. As, as soon as I was like, okay, I'm going to put my earphone back in the case. I went to go grab the case. And I went. You know, you do like the pocket touch and you right. start freaking out. About five seconds of figuring out whether you've lost it or you have it. The panic is insane. It's fucking mental. And I was like, oh my God. And then I went, oh, okay, maybe I put it in here. Then I checked in here. And I was like, oh. oh. And then I was like, where the fuck is it? I opened my bag. I put it in my bag. There's nothing in my bag. Where the fuck is it? And then I just went, it has to be. I'm, it must have fell out of my pocket. Did you know you lost it 100% as soon as you were yeah, yeah. in your pockets? As soon as I... Knew it wasn't in my bag, wasn't in my pocket. I checked my pockets like five times. You know how sometimes you do a rough, like a quick check and you don't feel it and then you go back and you're like, dear cared. Like it was yeah, here the whole time. Yeah. So I did it five times, checked my bag like three times and I knew I was like, it's got to be on the train. Where else can it be? Yeah. I've worn pants like that before and I've almost lost my wallet twice on the train. And then both times, luckily, someone's been like, oh, your wallet. Some People are really I've, nice I've like been, that. I've been lucky, man. I, I've never had anything lost on the train so far yet. That's pretty good. But- <laughs> yeah that is scary man like i haven't had i haven't had other than losing my apple earphones but i've never had a point where I'm, something's oh. fall, fallen out of my pocket you know what i did today tell me what'd you do today so i was like out doing work mm. and then i get back in the car to go drive around to the other side of the, of the site right i'm driving and i'm like usually like i get my phone out change the music change the song whatever and I'm there, I'm just like, oh, where, where the fuck's my phone? Anyway, I'm driving down the street. And then <laughs> as, I, as I'm like, where the fuck is it? I look up and I see it. The fucking phone's on the bonnet of the car. <laughs> I've left the phone on the bonnet, right? And then I break and I'm like, and then the phone just goes flying on the road. And I'm like, fuck. So I just You're break, joking. rip the handbrake, run outside, pick it up. And I'm, I'm checking it. And I'm like, fuck, is it, is it fucked? Is it fucked? I'm like, luckily it didn't run over it or anything like that. And I put it back. I'm like, fuck, Jesus. Like, I could have easily lost that and like real and not had any idea where it was. Because I was just in the middle of the road. Fuck in hell, man. The so, fact that you sent it and yeah. it didn't break. So lucky. Because I saw it. I saw it. If I didn't see it, I would have just assumed it was like down the side Gone, or something. See you later. But I saw it. And then I'm like, hit the brake. So I got lucky. I got lucky. Why did you hit the brake for if you saw it on the bottom? I would have like, okay, like slowly ease it before. No, because I panicked because it was sliding off and then I hit. Oh, I, I went to, okay. So I could break so that no one could go in front of me. Well, you're on the road. I was like in a like a car park coming out kind of area. So oh, it wasn't okay. like road, road. Okay. But 
Because you tell me where you're working today. I thought, oh, you must have been like on grass. But then you said road and I went, are you on the highway? Yeah, it was like not on a highway, but like a back street. Yeah, okay. So. Jeez, man, you got lucky then. If it landed on asphalt and it didn't break, that's a freaking mighty phone. Yeah, and it probably would have lost, like never been able to find it. Yeah, hard. I'll find my iPhone or something like that. But you know, you went, when you would have noticed, you'd be like listening to music and then just disconnecting. You're like, what the, what the fuck did it just disconnect? Well, it takes a, well, it takes a while to connect because it was like radio. Oh, do you do it through the Bluetooth? You don't connect it to like the the auto. Yeah, I always do it through the cable, man, because you just have the battery. Because it drinks, drinks so much. It does yeah. All right, so let's get back into this quiz that I'm about. This thing, bro. I'm keen for this. All right. I'll see if I get it right. Let's not even worry about if you're a millennial or not. Let's okay. just say you are. All right. 2000. Oh. Uh, All right. Uh, <laughs> we'll say you're a millennial. Um, I was born 93, so I'm definitely... Oof, bro. Yeah, I know. Fuck. Old. Got a walking stick? Might as well. It's the big 3-0. <laughs> fuck. I swear. I was talking... You know who I was talking to today? I was yeah. talking to Richard. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I said to him, I don't know what it is when people say... When you turn 30, shit starts to break. It is a fucking real thing. What? Like your, your body? Yeah, man. I, <laughs> my shoulder. I have... <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> my shoulder. I've got... It's, I've had this injury now for about five months. Yeah. Probably since July, August, somewhere there. And it's December now for people listening. Actually, we're recording in December. It's going to come out in January. So it'll be six months or so. Whatever it is, right? I have bursitis. In my shoulder. So I've got like this sack of liquid in my shoulder now. Between and, the joints? Yeah. So I've got this inflammation. And because of the inflammation, that sack that's increased, it's actually and the type of shoulder that I've got. I've got like a type two shoulder or something like that. It's something to do with the way my bone curves. Anyway, because of that, it's given me an AC joint impingement. So I've got like double injury and it's fucked. It's fucked. So I can't lift heavy or anything. How do you get rid of it? It's just a slow process. I just have to over time. Is it physio? How would you find out about it, physio? So I found out it because I was in pain. Yeah. That's that's number one. Yeah. But then <laughs> you went where to get checked? Then I went to the doctor. I was like, I want to get... Because I went... I have been. I go to the Cairo once a month, mm. just like as a bit of a tune-up. He's like Cairo physio pretty much. And uh, I go to him. He goes, oh, you've probably done AC joint impingement. He kind of called it right off the bat because I had to do these exercises. Shit. I went and did an ultrasound. I went and did an x-ray, showed nothing. So then I had to go do an MRI, right? People listening probably don't give a fuck, but I think this is interesting. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, yeah. Did an MRI. Then it showed the little sack in my shoulder and also showed the, um, the joint, the impingement in my shoulder. And then I, the doctor goes, oh, you can take a cortisone injection or you know, just over time, it'll heal. So I'm like, well, I'd rather not get a cortisone. So I'll just stick it over time. So I just got to keep doing these like um, shoulder exercises every day. I've got to do really light shoulder work as well, weight training. Because he goes, if you stop training, it's not good for the shoulder either. Mm. So you, yeah. j- so I'm just in this limbo now of going to the gym, not really enjoying what I'm doing because I don't. I like to train heavier. And I feel good when I lift heavy too. Mm. But going back to what I was saying, you turn 30 and shit... Like, it's already starting to break down on me. 30. As soon as I hit 30, I've never had this before. 30 and bang. See you later. Crumbling. I know. Just fucking You're going to get one after the other. 31, something else. 32, something else. Dead set, bro. Dead set. So nah, I'm changing up my right, diet bro. a little bit. See yeah. how we go. Try and get reduced the inflammation. You'll figure it out. Yeah, it should be all right. All right. All right. Let's go straight to the, to the words. All right. Top 20. I said Gen Y, but it's not Gen Y. <laughs> Top 20. Slang. I'm guessing of this generation. I don't know what it's called. Okay. So sus is the first word. Sus? Yeah. Okay. That's like your your suspect. You know what I mean? I'm suspect, huh? Yeah. So it's like, oh, like, oh, who stole the chocolates? Yeah, that brother over there is looking a bit sus. <laughs> you fat piece of shit. Who stole the chocolate? <laughs> I don't know why I thought of that. I th- yeah, I think sus is like when you're like suspicious of someone, right? Yeah. yeah. That's right. Suspicious. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Yeah. I, I fucking know this better. <laughs> <laughs> I got it right. Call me, Je- call me Gen Z, bro. I got it right. You did. You did. Second one. Bet. Bet? Bet. That's like, all right, like bet. It's like, oh, you want to, it's like, 
Oh, I bet you can't do 20 pull-ups. Yeah, bet. bet. You know what? Some of these actually make sense. There's some that fucking don't make sense to me though. So bet, you're right. That's what bet is. Yeet. Yeet? Yeet. Yeet! Isn't that when you just like throw something? That's what I thought, right? But there's, I have to look up the actual definition, but I just thought like when, just before you throw something, you just go, yeet! Yeah. And you throw it. Yeah. Is it? Probably. Okay. I should I have so. the definition, but. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure it is. Otherwise, Whatever we say here, we're always right. Yeah, that's fact though. <laughs> All right. Fact the mordials. Change it. <laughs> Do you know what the word of the year is? Yes, I do. <laughs> How fucking dumb is it? I do. Out of all the words, what is it? Riz. Out of all the fucking words, word of the year can be Riz. <sighs> you know what? Now that I think about it, I've probably seen that everywhere. Word of the year. That word, yeah, Riz. Because it's like a meme and it's just like, everyone's just like, once something becomes a meme, everyone just like runs with it. Yeah. So everyone's just like, oh, like cringe Riz or... Or whatever Riz, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I see it everywhere now. Make, I don't mind Riz though. Makes Riz, Riz makes sense. Exactly. Like when you say Riz, it makes sense. Do you know what it stands for? What it stands for? No. Charisma. Does it actually mean charisma? Yeah. Chariz, Rizma. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So if you got Riz, you got charisma. Like when you- That's pretty, that's actually makes sense. Okay. Yeah. I get that. But this, you know, actually I'm going to skip one because every, I feel like everyone knows what salty means. Surely. Yeah. I don't think we need to go through what salty means. No. This is the one where I just went, this doesn't make sense. Cap. Did you know what that was? I, you told me what it was, remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you didn't know. Bro, that's, actually, that's such a big word, but everyone uses but it. But it doesn't make sense. That's, that's one thing yeah, that kills right, me. It's right. like the, the others make sense. This one doesn't make sense. Cap. I want to know how this started. I want to know the origin of this cap, how, how it happened. I reckon someone... He was like talking shit with the boys and just went, ah, cap. And they're like, what the fuck are you saying? And he was like, oh, it means, it means you're lying. <laughs> yeah, I don't know like, how oh. someone comes up with it. Oh, fuck, some of the memes are fucking hilarious. Have you seen the ones where it's just like someone talking and someone's duetted it and there's like someone else and they just keep putting on fucking hats and hats and hats <laughs> no, and hats. <laughs> it's just <funny. laughs> You got to link me then. Too good. All right. So cap is one, which means lying, by the way. You're mm-hmm. lying. Extra. Extra. If someone's being extra, you're doing too much. Yeah, doing too much. Yeah. Don't wait too much. See, that makes sense. All right. Bussin. Bussin? <laughs> yeah. All right. So something's bussin. It's good. <laughs> is that no. what that actually means? Yeah. So if Your I say that bussin. car is bussin. <sighs> I don't know. That's a bit of a weird context to use it. <laughs> That's how fucking showing my age now. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I probably wouldn't use it in that concept. It's more like when you like maybe like eat something or try something. Be like, oh, this this pizza's bussin'. Yeah, or like a song. Am I just saying it weird? Bussin'. The bussin'. With an American accent, everything sounds proper. Because I feel like sounds I, proper. Only Americans you really use it. Yeah, that's true. All these words I think Ameri- it's more American because I don't I don't hear UK or Australian people yeah. saying these slang words. They say some of them, but not all of them. No, not all of them. Like one that I bussin's I, definitely UK. Cap everyone uses. Is bussin UK? No, sorry, I'm, I'm America. Okay, because yeah. there's one. That I was reading today and I was like, they've got to be U- US. And it was Finna. Oh, yeah. I was like, Finna? I Finna take you out. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> you don't know what that is. I Finna. Uh, I know all this shit just from on Twitter and Instagram. Memes. I, I saw it today and I went, you Finna. So I think it means, are you going to? Like, I'm gonna. I'm going to. I'm Finna. I Finna. I Finna You know what? Down. When I hear Finna, I think of this... Like my family friend that I know, well, actually my sister-in-law, because that's her name. Well, it's not her name, but that's her name shortened. Her name, her short, her nickname is Finna. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah. So that's why I'm like, <laughs> do you know Finna? I'm like, so do I. <laughs> Finna mate, Finna. <laughs> yeah. So, um, all right, next one. I think the next one's meant to be bougie. Bougie. Yeah. Yeah. Fancy. Mm. Yeah. That's is that slang easy. or is that a real word? Well, it's real apparently, word. it's slang. That, this was on off of Nine Gag, where I got this. Okay, so I'll, I'll just take it from them. Um, sheesh. Sheesh that sounds so cringe. <laughs> yeah, it is. Hey. Sheesh. That means like. I feel like you far can't out. use it. I feel like you can't use it in conversation though. <laughs> like it's it's <laughs> a statement in itself. If I heard someone say that to me in conversation, immediately I'd be like, "What the hell is wrong with you?" <laughs> <laughs> that was me when you said cap. Nah, fuck off. That's so common though. Everyone uses that word. Nah, there's no way. Ain't no way. 
<laughs> but maybe, maybe to younger people, she, she's like, they just drop it in convo and it's like fucking normal. Yeah, probably. I try to look up slang words like back when I used to do it. And I just, even I was looking them up. I'm like, nah, this, this has to be American. I think you were right. I think a lot of these slang is mainly American words. Yeah, it must be. Has to be. So then drip. Drip doesn't make sense. Yeah, drip, drip makes sense. Drip is like when you're just good. You're dripped out. What well, doesn't drip mean like just look at my drip? Like look at what I'm wearing? It doesn't matter if it's look good. It's my drip. Yeah, but I think you associate it with... Nah, I think it's like when you're good. When you're wearing good stuff or you, you, you look good. So if you say, I'm bro, out. that's fucking sick drip. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that sounds so cringe. Or shit drip. I don't know. Can you use it in, in, in a condescending way? Like shit drip. Bro, look you at that. You can. You probably say, look at that drip. I think it just means like what you're wearing kind of thing. That's what I thought. Yeah. I guess it makes sense. We're right on this podcast, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another one. that I actually have no idea what this is. It's oof. Oof? Yeah, oof. I think it's more of a sound. Yeah, I think it's when people just like, if someone hit, if you say something cool and you go, oof, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, kind of like sheesh. Sheesh. Like no one's actually saying that. You go, oof, yeah. sheesh. Oof. <laughs> sheesh. <laughs> oof. Oh. <laughs> oh, cancel. All right. Shook. Shook. That's like... That one was like back in my day too. Yeah, you, yeah, 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 yeah. We had shook. you know this one. Yeah, yeah. Damn, fucking shook. Damn. I'm shook, bro. Yeah, shook. Shark. Nah, that's sort of new one. That's that's old. That's what I'm saying. Like that. What about that ba- song? What about that song? Shook ones. I don't know the song. Mob Deep. Nah. You know is that, the is that a- song? You just a shook one. If I, I reckon, if I hear it, I'll know it. It's a big one. It's a big one. But right? yeah, no. Yeah. Everyone knows what that means. I don't even have to explain that one. I probably should know it because I used to be a DJ, but ah, long past. Simp. Simp's a good one. Everyone knows this one. Yeah. Go on. Explain it. Explain it to the people. (sighs) Tell the people listening what what a simp simp is. is. (sighs) It's It's me. (laughs) I would describe you (laughs) word for word S I M P. P I M P. No, 50 50 cent. S I M P. I'm a motherfucking S I M P. I ain't no simp. I ain't no no simp. Simp is um, someone who just pretty much... Actually, how how would you describe it? Just someone that's completely obsessed or puts everything aside for a woman. Could be be like a girl that they like or like a girlfriend. I wouldn't really say a wife because at that point you're you're married. It doesn't really matter. But I, I think it's more in the context of like a guy, if someone's simping over a woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, or it could be reverse. Just absolutely, just you're doing, you're doing the most. You know what I mean? You're, you're well, like, I reckon it's, you're not even being yourself at that point. If you're simping over, like, you're yeah, but you're just, crawling. you're degrading yourself. Yes, that's degrading yourself. To, that's it right there to get the attention of a woman. He's done it, which is fucking sad to see. Come it on. is sad. Let's not do that. That's <laughs> fucking disgusting. <laughs> All right, mid, mid. That's mid. It's average. Yeah. That makes sense. It does make sense. There's it's a mid. lot of these that make sense. It's not high, it's not low, it's mid. It's mid. It's mid. So if I'd be like, that shirt is mid, I'd be capping. <laughs> oh, did you? Who the on fuck the fly. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Just call me Mr. Gen, Gen Alpha, bruh. Just call That's me. That's good. That's creative. I think so. On the fly. I didn't think you could do that. Podcasting, bro. It's all the skills that I've, yeah. I've learned along the way. Damn. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Hold this L. Well, that's self-explanatory, isn't it? I reckon there's a lot of people. L, a lot of people. L just means like, like loss. Yeah, or loser. So hold this. Yeah. Hold this L. Like, I didn't know. You had to tell me what this was too, actually. Yeah? Yeah, I remember. Because I didn't know. I was like, L, what the fuck are you talking about? That was big, I think, with like, when like dub, W came out. Like that's, oh, like, I get this dub. Like, like that's big dub. Yeah, yeah. W. So it's like. Then the L. L. Like hold this L. <laughs> Hold this dick. Hold this. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to hold this wood, yeah. Hold this one. <laughs> <laughs> you know how you just tiki-taki? No. Uh, I probably do. The thing is, my memory is fucked. This For those U- who don't know. This UK guy that just walks around. Yeah. Like chatting up chicks. Yeah. But he's not in the UK anymore. He's like in America. Okay. Anyway, he just basically goes around just like slinging his dick around, acting as if 
He's just like this big, big shit. Yeah, big shit. It's funny. Don't get me wrong. It's funny as fuck and I love it. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. But it's just like, it's just hilarious. Fair enough. I, I don't think I've actually seen that guy, to be fair. Fuck, stop this fucking iPad. Okay, I don't know if this is actually new slang, but I-Y-K-Y-K. If you know, you if know. If you know, you know. Yeah. yeah. If you know, you know. You know that song? Who are we going to have? I don't know that song either. Big song. Big but, I, but I know the reference. Like when people say, if you know, you know. Like I know the reference. Yeah. Here we go. NPC. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know this because I play games. Oh. Uh, so if you didn't know. I reckon if I didn't play games, I would have no idea. Uh, probably, me too, to be fair. Mm. Like if, otherwise, you wouldn't really know the context of it. NPC is just like you're just a background character. Yeah, you're just you, it's you're a nobody is what you, they're saying. You're an NPC. That's, that's literally how it is. That's, that's how so I would creative. take it. If that's they say, so creative. Imagine someone calling you an NPC. You're an NPC. In my I'd life. be impressed and insulted at the same time. Yeah, if yeah. I had never heard it and they said you're an NPC, I'd be like, fuck, that's. I have no comeback for that. No one said gotta, it. Got to respect it. <laughs> like honestly, you know when some have you ever you're been just a fucking di- sim? A sim. It's like a Simpson. No, a simp. the Sims. Oh, <laughs> NPC. <laughs> Walking around doing these oh, ones. See, see what I mean? Like sometimes I just don't fucking get it. <laughs> but that was good though. That was good. All right, next one. If I can open this. There's only like two more. Tell me. I know. I'm vibe check. Vibe check. Vibe check. That's so fucking it's so cringe. And I feel like only girls do this. I don't know if, if men do this. No, there's, there's, there's fucking for sure guys that do this. You're, no way. Vibe check. Nah, I can't. Vibe check. That's the one I haven't really heard, but I. everyone loves the, the vibes. I'm vibing. I'm vibing right now. Vibe is good. I know vibe. Like, you know when someone goes, oh, the I'm vibe's vibe. good. I use, that, I use that one. Vibe check or vibe? Vibe. I'm yeah, vi- vibe's good. I'm vibing. Or this is a vibe. This is a vibe. Yeah. I use. <laughs> you know what's funny? I was talking with my uncle. And he goes like he was meeting some client, whatever. And she goes like, oh, the vibe's not there. And my... (laughs) And my... So my uncle's a little bit older than us. Like he's only only eight years older than us to be fair. But I think it's just past the generation now where it's like any new slang, it's kind of like, what? Yeah. So she said that, oh, it's just... I'm done feeling the vibe. And he just went, vibe, is there tremors in the floor or something? Like... (laughs) He, he was telling me something like that. I'm probably butchering it, but I fucking died. Like, that's it's so, so funny. funny. I know. That's so funny. You saw, sometimes I've got to like check myself when I'm talking to older people that I don't say the wrong thing. because They, they have like think, this blank stare. Yeah. Well, they just think I'm just being an idiot. Nah, I think they just, yeah, they're probably actually. They probably, probably just right. think, what's going <laughs> on about? Just fucking talk normal. That'll be me for sure. Yeah. Like talking to younger kids. I reckon if younger kids start talking to you, you'll be like. Sometimes younger kids do like when I speak to a younger kid and they start chucking all that crap out. Like you know, I like, understand it. Yeah. But I just would never say that in conversation. It's unnecessary. It oh, really is. But then we probably say the same thing. Like we probably say stuff that's and like an older generation will be like, what the, what the hell? Or even the younger generation will be like, what the hell? Like when you hear your parents say some stuff and you're like, what the f-? Never use that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a fair point, actually. I've never actually thought of my parents saying slang or what slang they used to say back in the day. I remember a few times someone older than me like said something. I'm like, fuck, that's so old. <laughs> but to them, it's Get like... Out. But to them, it's normal. It's like, it's whatever. Yeah, it's so. just part of, their, part of their conversation. Yeah. All right, last one. Fuck, we're already half an hour in, bro. Oh, no, I don't think we're actually half an hour in. I think we're like 25 in. Fuck, it's gone quick, though. Jesus. I don't know what this is. This is the last one. Uh-huh. It's called Stan. Oh, yeah, I know this one. What is it? You don't know this one? I, don't, I actually don't know this one. Okay, so you know... I'll explain it to you. Is this the Eminem song? Yes, yeah, so you know you know the song Eminem? Yeah. The, the, Eminem, the Eminem song, yeah, Stan? Yeah. yeah. So in the song, Stan is like a massive fan, like writing to Eminem. Yeah, yeah. Explaining like how much he loves him and stuff like that. Yeah. And will basically just die for him. So Stan is like, oh, I'm a massive Eminem Stan or I'm a massive... Katy Perry stand. Oh, so you're just a fan. It's just a fan. Also, it's I, just fan. But uh, like, you're a massive fan. That's pretty cool, actually. You're a stan. So like, I, I hear you hear. So it's like more than a fan. It's like a, you're a stan. 
Oh, so you're so you're a bigger fan. Yeah, so, so you're, you're obsessed. obsessed. You're obsessed. Okay. With that person or that thing. Isn't it? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Because I was going to say, like, for some, I think there's some music artists, they have, like, their own army sometimes. Like, you know how Britney yeah. Spears have their own, like, obsessed fans, but they're called something. I don't, I don't know. Justin Bieber. Called. Got the Believers. Yeah, the Believers. Exactly. That sort of shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah, yeah. Eminem's fan base, I don't think he's called Stan, like, Stans. I think okay. it's, like, it's way The Eminem's, the chocolate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, those ones and Skittles, good one. Skittles. <laughs> oh, that's what I was waiting. Yeah, no, it's big. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was waiting. <laughs> shit joke, shit joke. Oh, but it's funny though. Um, yeah, and that's it. That's all for the top twenty slang. So I got them all right. Probably yeah, yeah, we mate. got them all right. Good did on you, you, mate. Did you not know any of them? The ones I didn't know were there were a couple. I didn't know Bussin. Sheesh, I feel like I did know. Oof, Finna had no fucking clue what Finna was. Oh. No fucking idea. Stan, I didn't know what Stan was. Uh, and I think everything else I kind of knew, which I feel like is not too bad for someone who's a little bit older. I guess so. I guess so. Fuck that. Those words, I would have surprised that you didn't know them. But maybe, to be fair, I, I don't really I'm know all this scene. stuff because I'm on social media. I'm not too much on social media, man. I'm if starting you, to notice like, how much fucking time I spend on TikTok. If you're not on social media, you'll miss out. If you're not? Yeah, like you'll miss out on like new trends and new words and stuff like that. Like all that that list. But do you think if, you, if you're if you on social media too much, then you're just missing out a bit on life too? Yeah, for sure. Like just enjoying the moment. Oh, but like, when are you enjoying the moment? I don't know. Well, I'm, when I'm on Instagram, it's just, it's in between times that I'm feeling. Yeah. You know, like the, that weird in, intermediate So if you're, if you're out with but, your mates, right? Sorry, go on, go on. Yeah, but like, obviously it, it produces productivity because in that, those times you could be doing something quickly instead of like, you know, waiting half an hour to go to gym, you could go to gym straight away and then- That's you know, what I'm saying, have right? productivity for other things. Yeah. Yeah, but- I, it's hard to say that you're not in the moment because like if I'm doing something, I'm not on my phone typically. If you're doing something. But I also think it depends, right? So for example, like last night, I did some, I did a lot of work on the podcast actually, but I feel like I could have done more if I didn't spend like an hour and a half on TikTok. I did use TikTok as an excuse and as an excuse to go, I just need, I just need to unwind. You know what I mean? Mm. But I feel like I could unwind different ways. I, I think t- if you do TikTok, it's not bad. If you do TikTok, like maybe half an hour a day to an hour being the absolute max, that's mm. not bad. But I feel like anything more than that, it starts to add, man. Like you start thinking about how much time you spend on TikTok or on Instagram or whatever. And let's say you're spending two hours a day, like over seven yeah. days, that's 14 hours, bro. It's nearly half a day gone. Imagine half a day, you've just on your phone. You could think of so much uh, like other things that you could have done. Yeah. Because realistically in the day, you're sleeping for seven hours. Yeah. So you've only got really like 17 hours. That's the thing. Like a third of your day is pretty much gone just to sleep. And then I would argue that I would say half of your day is gone to work. Because by the time you get up, you get ready, you get dressed, fucking have your breakfast, drive into work, do your work, drive back home. All that I think is anywhere between... The absolute minimum being 10. 10, yeah. 10, 11. Yeah. And then the max being, you know, 12, 12. to 13. Depending yeah. on travel, right? Because for me, it depends on what time in the morning and all sorts of crap. But I say about 45 minutes to and from work. Then I I count lunch break as work time. Because it's not like you can just go and do whatever the fuck you want during your lunch break. You have kind of have to be around work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's just a break. So you're just on your phone or whatever. Yeah. You're just like recouping yourself. Yeah. And then... So if you're working eight hours, then nine hours work. Sorry, nine hours plus your lunch. Then say another hour to travel. That's 11 hours. That's half your day gone. And then plus sleep. And then you've only got like a certain window where mm. then you have to go to the gym. Because you know, you know, not everyone goes to the gym, but then you that's your time. To, bro, your fucking quads are looking huge. Holy fuck. <laughs> Stop, you're guessing me. Bro, you're guessing I me just out. saw your fucking quads pop. Bro, <clears throat> fuck. You got a bigger man. Nah, these are soccer legs. These also it's because today I was walking in like thirty-five degree heat, so I'm completely dehydrated. 
Yes, so you're got, just vascular as. Yes, I'm just <laughs> heaps vascular and I've got no water weight in me at, like, at all. So I'm just straight. Bro, holy fuck. I didn't realize how big your quads were, man. Like your quads it's, are fucking it's, big. It's not that big compared to other people, but but for your for your size and your frame, they're pretty solid, like bigger than mine. Yeah, fucking tiny well, now. compared to my upper body, for sure, my, my quads are probably bigger because I played soccer my whole life. Yeah, yeah. Still do soccer like three, four times a week. So you still play soccer and go gym? Well, or you stop gym now? Yeah, it was it slowed down. I was only going gym like two times, three times a week, ma- ah. ma- mainly twice. But I was playing three times a week. Okay. But now that soccer stopped and slowed down again, I'm going to start going gym again five days a week. But I could have gone before easily like because I was going beginning of the year. Yeah. Straight from work and then going to soccer straight after. So I can't do it. I just got, I just got lazy, especially when I go back from Europe. I just slowed down. But I was having like injuries and so I didn't want to push. You turning 30, bro? Yeah. Any injuries? I should. I got the same thing that you got, the shoulder thing. Bursitis. I don't, I don't know what it is, but whenever I lift and I twist in a certain way, I get this sharp pain like right there. So do you get it? I get it at the joint though. That's where I get my pain. Right know, there. I don't know where the joint is. Like there somewhere? No, nah, no. Nah, see, see how yours is right at the curve here? Mine's like where your, where this, where your trap comes down mm. and there's like a little like bone right here. I'll show you after the pod. It feels like it's there though. I'm, bro, I'm fucking, I don't know. Just falling apart. Yeah, I am. I should be 30. <laughs> I got shit shoulders, <laughs> shit knees. Played a full game the other day. Couldn't walk for two days. Dead set. Yeah. But oh, it was my first crazy. game in a while. And whenever you play your first game. Oh, that's the thing. If you haven't played in ages, it's doms. That's just doms. Yeah, it is. But when you're younger, if you played a game, you never. No, never, never. Never. This year is probably the first year that after games and stuff, I start pulling up hip, ankle. Really? Yeah, yeah I'm feeling it bad now. When I was younger, nah, you just. The, the injuries, you kind of just shake off. That's crazy to think about, hey, like. You kind of take it for granted when you're like, it actually goes to show how much abuse your body can take when you're younger. Yeah. Compared to obviously compared to when you're older. Yeah. And I'm, us- I'm abusing myself now like three times a week, like two different comps, six yep. side comps and then training as well. I just thought, nah, fuck it. I can do it. And now I'm like listening to my body and it's telling me like, fuck, you can't keep doing this. Like, or cause I'm not a pro athlete. Like if I was a pro athlete and I was ice bathing, getting massages, yeah, sauna, Eating proper. I don't do any of that. Yeah. So it's like, pff, I that's can't a, expect to push my body. That's the thing as well. And plus you're working. Like that's half your day gone. If you if you had that whole time back and you were recovering as well and you're just doing whatever you want or like you said, you're a pro athlete mm. and you actually were more focused because when you're young, you don't need to do that shit either. But mm. you have far more time to just kind of do whatever you want either. Like you just relax and sleep. And when you're older, I feel like it just gets worse. Yeah. But I feel like that work time is kind of a recovery period. I'm not doing anything intense anyway. Dude, you might not think you're doing intense, like, because we're both surveyors for people who are listening, especially if you're in the field like you were today. You know, it, you might not think you're doing a lot, but compared to a lot of other people, that is a lot of work. It's not like bricklaying. No, okay? it's not plumbing or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, it's not like real hard work, but it's, you know, as a fuck ton of walking, like you've probably hit like it's 20, a lot of It is a lot of like cardio vascular stuff yeah not impact yeah it's not like heavy lifting but you are moving constantly mm. moving legs setting up legs doing that whole thing you know what i mean people don't understand that man <laughs> survey life well, you're an advocate for it <laughs> come to the survey industry bro we've got a huge shortage Ooh, shout my name bro we do give me a, give me a 10 percent. <laughs> actually no keep it for yourself all right i have some stories for you actually before i get into the stories i want to ask you something because this has been like a bit of a a TikTok trend right now. Tell me. Which way do you face in the shower? When you're showering? Like towards the shower head? Yeah, towards the shower head or the or, or the other way. Or the other way. Yeah. Which I way are you facing? Always away. Yeah, see? I always face away from the from the water. So if the if the spout is hitting me in the back of the head. No, nah, you most people would look away. You can't look forward. I there's a lot of I think it's like 50 50. I think No, nah, it can't be. I tell you why. Let me explain. Explain. Right? Explain for the people. Because if you're showering, yeah, <laughs> right, the shower's hitting you like this, face on. Or actually, it depends what kind of shower you have. Are we? I don't think it matters what kind of shower you have. If you have, oh, if you have the ones that are like, if you got down, the one on the wall, and because my one is on the wall, and then it shoots diagonally onto your face. Okay. Right. So I can't face it because it's. I'm just gonna be doing this the whole <laughs> time, wiping water out of my eyes. So yeah. I have yeah. to turn the other way, but. 
Actually, even on the but what about the one straight down? Yeah, so if I'm even if it's like straight down, I feel like always people have it on an angle unless you've got like those rain. What are those called? Like the rain yeah, shower ones. Yeah, those big ones. Yeah, yeah. but okay. just the normal Excluding shower. those ones. Yeah, but they're coming up, and they, even those, those are kind of like they're angled, but they come down. I think everyone always still faces the other way, just because of that reason. You don't want water in your face. Yeah, and I and even with those top ones, like I I'm not like just in the shower, like letting the water run down my face. My head always sticks it's out. Half. Yeah. yeah. Always sticks out, but it's always my face is facing out. Yeah. If that makes sense, it's not. Like, I don't know how people face in. I just don't know how they do it. Like, if the water just hits, I, oh, I just can't. Also, it's you, wrong. If you, 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 when you face out, you've got more breathing room. When you're facing the wall, there's like this much room between you and the wall. It just feels <laughs> claustrophobic. You know what I mean? What kind of shower do you have? <laughs> well, the shower head's on the wall. <laughs> yeah, but doesn't, but does yours come out? Because no, mine one like, like comes well, out. No, mine like a, doesn't. Oh, okay. Mine's like a little thing that pokes out from the wall so it's like that big hey yeah yeah attached to the wall i guess it depends on the shower that can you adjust that you it have. so you can't move it up or down or anything yeah you can but it's like it just acts like a hose it just like curves longer or goes straight down oh that's interesting that's weird no, i've, I've only had the it. the pleb fucking actually no this one's pretty good this is the one where it's like a hose so you like pull it off the wall and you can like those ones. They're oh, sick. yeah. Most, I, people, most people have those ones. I, I never used to have them. But when we moved to this place that came with one, bro, best. But off topic, people who face towards the water, there's something wrong with them. Yeah, for sure. I, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> They're just mentally enslaved in the brain. <laughs> so absurd. Just get out. <laughs> All right. Now that we've got that, because I was gonna have some beef with you if you said the other way, but you're good. You're okay. good. So I'm I'm an normie. You Am dodged, I normie? Well, I would call you a normie. You've dodged a bullet. Okay, that's what I'm gonna say. Okay. You've dodged an argument. Another right. in the back for me. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do a Reddit. I have my Reddit threads. Welcome to Am I the asshole? <laughs> Am I the asshole? Reddit segment. I love these. I love this. This one's a good one. There's a lot of stupid people on the internet. I know. It's great content for us, honestly. <laughs> so here we go. I'm wondering if I should start with I'm, am I the asshole or if I should start with an unpopular opinion because i got two. I, we'll start with I am the asshole and then we'll go to unpopular opinion. Okay. Yeah. Because we'll the unpopular opinion, I just read the title and it sent me. Okay. So I haven't even read the story. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> All right so I, to be fair, for anyone listening, I have read... Oh, no, this one is the one I haven't read. Am I the asshole? I haven't read this story. Okay. So, am I the asshole? A male 45 was seated at the window seat in the airplane. Actually, I should... Let me start that again. <laughs> I'm going to start with the title and then get into the story. Okay. Am I the asshole for not switching seats on the plane? Already red hot for me. Mm. Already have an opinion straight off the bat. Mm. All right, let's get into the story. Am I the asshole... I, male 45, was seated at the window seat in the plane, always. A couple boarded and the wife sat down in the middle seat with the husband at the aisle. After sitting in, the wife leans over towards me with a sweet smile and says, would you be a darling and switch seats with me? I really can't fly well in the middle seat. So I leaned towards her and asked if that was her partner, to which he said, yes, it's my husband. I told her that I would never want to come between a husband and a wife, but I was more than happy to help accommodate by switching with him. So I would sit in the aisle and the two and the two, if then could figure out it amongst themselves. Okay. I feel like that's pretty nice. Oh my, my, oh my, <laughs> oh, my husband would never sit in the middle or at the window. So maybe you can do a woman a favor and switch. I told her that I really apologize, but I won't do it. Moments later, I hear her yelling at her husband in another language, which I am fluent in that the jerk won't switch seats so you got to switch with me. He ends up switching and leans over with a smile and says that his wife switched with him because she has diarrhea and needs the aisle in case she must run. End of story. Discuss. So who is on the window? So the guy is at the window. He has a window seat. There's a lady and her husband that have the middle seat and the aisle seat. Husband's in the aisle seat. She's in the middle seat. She leans over to him and asks... Can I have the window seat? 
And then and he, he says yes. He says you can have the middle seat, but I'll take the aisle seat because I don't want to be sitting in between you and your husband. Yeah. It's awkward from what I seem to understand. Right, but they wanted him to sit in the middle. She wanted him to sit in the middle because then she said, my husband doesn't like sitting in the middle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so then okay. he goes. No, that's it. Stop right there. <laughs> oh, I'm stopping. Stop right there. All right. This brother already did her a favor by switching seats. Yeah. Yes. She asked for one thing. He's compromised. Okay. You can't then go and ask for something else as well. For him to sit in the middle. First of all, no one wants to sit in the middle. <laughs> it's, the, it's the shittest spot on the plane. Big time. All right? The window seat's probably really... It's arguably the best. I I don't know. I, I, I prefer the aisle as well because you got more leg room and stuff to, to put your arm I out. don't mind aisle or window. Middle is definitely the worst. Yeah. So you, you, you can't ask to move. You're putting someone... If you really care, you should have booked better seats. That's what I was going to say. I'll do you one better. Why didn't you book a window seat? There you go. I feel like there are people who literally... They've probably booked it way too late and they'll just go, oh, I'm just going to ask this guy, see if I can switch seats with him. Anyone who asks that and gets upset with not getting the window oh. seat, sorry, sorry. You're right. You didn't pay for it. He paid for it. He booked, That's his seat. Because I have a story yeah, about that you too. Can't, really? oh, I have another story, but it's off topic. I can't even hear this. But you can't yet. Yeah, you can't ask someone out of, the, to ask for the, out of the goodness of their heart and if they say no... To not find it understandable. Like yeah. you put yourself in that situation. <sighs> Nothing does me more than that. Oh my God. Dude, it was like when I hear stories like that, I, I immediately, like, that's why I said like immediately, I just had a thought, you're not the asshole. You are definitely not the asshole. It's, and you did her a favor and said, I will switch with your, hus- with your husband and you guys can work it out between yourselves. You know, you want the window and he can have the middle, whatever. I just don't want to get in between you, which... For whatever reason, that's what he's like. But honestly, I feel like he didn't have to do any of that. He was just being a nice guy. So definitely not the asshole. Yeah, off topic, but why would you, you sitting separately? What do you mean? With a, why are you sitting between someone if you're with your partner? Well, that's that's why he was saying. I think I don't want to be sitting in between. Yeah, but the, yeah, that's so weird. But why would you ask? Like, yeah, what, in like, the first place. Why does a couple want to be separate anyway? Like if I'm booking a plane with like a girlfriend or a, or a friend, yeah. I'm going to sit next. I'm not going to sit one. A hundred percent. And my favorite was the excuse that the guy gave. Oh, she has diarrhea. So she's got to, she, if she has to go, she has to run. Asking the window seat two seconds ago. Yeah. But has, obviously he's bullshitting just to cover, you know, make him not feel bad or whatever. That's what I think he's done. Does but my, didn't realize that he understood exactly what she was saying. That was my head in, man. I, can, I can't understand people like that. Let me paint you a story because now we're going to get onto the topic that I was going to talk about. Oh, yeah. Because this reminded me of a story. This is when me and my wife, who was my girlfriend at the time, we had booked to go and see <laughs> Wonder Woman. Now, mind you, we had booked... I don't know if... Have I, have I told you this story? No, but... This- all right. Uh, over here. This is this is Am I the Asshole segment, Zas Podcast Edition. Okay. This is a raw story. This isn't a Reddit story. Okay. So Wonder this is the first Wonder Woman. And we're like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna book in advance, like well in advance. Must have been like three or four weeks before. And we're gonna go to a nice cinema. It was at um, Hoyt's at East Gardens. Because with Optus you can get like cheap deals, like half price. It was like 13 bucks, and it's the full recliner seats. Yeah, so Bro, like it was nice. And um, I had booked this pati- these two particular seats because I wanted these seats that were in the middle of the cinema in like not in the middle, but not in the back, kind of like in between. It was perfect. Mm. That's what I booked for. That's what I paid for. That's what I wanted, right? Fast forward, we get to the cinema and we get there a little bit late to be fair, mm. but it didn't matter. We had prepaid the tickets. Is the cinema packed at this point? The cinema's packed. Okay, it is packed. Yeah, yeah. So okay. we haven't gotten into the cinema yet. So we, yeah, go on. That's good context. Yeah. So we we get there late. We get our popcorn and stuff like that. And we're going towards the cinema and we go in. It's packed. But I didn't think anything of it because I'm like, well, I've got, I've bought tickets. So I have reserved seating, right? And this was a reserved seating cinema. So I get there and we move over and we're like, what do you mean you couldn't buy tickets at the door? 
you probably could buy tickets at the store, but it's reserved seating. So whatever tickets you buy, that's your seat, right? Yeah, okay. It's not like reading cinema. Oh, uh, it's like a general admission thing. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So I get there, look at my seat number. I'm going, uh, there's someone in my seat. I'm going, what the fuck? Anyway, so I go up to him. I'm like, hey, man, I think you're in my seat. And he goes, no, no, this is, this is my seat. And I go, look, man, like this definitely, I think, I can't remember the number. I'm just going to make it up. It's like P9 and P10. So this, this is definitely my seat. So again, I think he showed me his ticket and he said the same thing. What? Yeah. This is where it gets interesting, right? So I went, oh, okay. I didn't. I only really looked at those, okay? So I went, no worries. Let's go get the usher and I'll come right back. In the meantime, my wife goes, don't do that. Let's just go sit at the front, you know? Don't, and in me, I was like, it's, this is the principle of it now. Yeah. Yeah. You're deep into it. Yeah. You, like you, I've, I've paid for these seats. Yeah. It's not because, you know what? It, I, I really wouldn't have cared if it wasn't um, like an expensive cinema. Like I probably wouldn't have cared so much, but I really like, I, I went out of my way to make sure this was a good night. But was the guy being a fuckwit? He was being a little bit of a fuckwit. When? And I didn't care. Cause I was like, I've got like, I've got tickets. Something's going to happen. So anyway, we go get the usher. <laughs> So I go to the usher. I think there's someone in my seat. This is my ticket. She goes, all right, let's go in. So we go into the cinema. She looks for my seat, finds the seat, goes up to the guy. She goes, can I see your ticket? <laughs> and then out loud in the cinema because the whole scene was quiet. The movie hasn't started yet. So it's still in like the oh, intro. Okay. So and out loud, she goes, you... <laughs> she goes, sorry, sir, your movie's tomorrow night. And the whole cinema is looking. El <laughs> Elna's dying right now because this getting this unwanted attention. And I'm just sitting here going, yep, that's right. You're going to leave, aren't you? You're gone. <laughs> so then they get up and they leave and we get our seats. Did they say anything? Oh, they were dirty. But sorry, sorry. They knew. Either they knew and they were being ignorant or they genuinely didn't know. No, you can't not know what night you booked. To be fair, it was the, I think it was the same seats. But they had a better night. Like ours was Friday night and they had Saturday night. Like how do you confuse those two nights? That's what I mean. How do you confuse those two nights? Unless in the, when you're ordering online, the drop down menu, I guess it, it, it could happen. It can happen. But Look, it's happened to me where I've accidentally booked the wrong day, but I booked it for like, say I booked tickets for, to, for Saturday, but I actually booked it for today, if that makes sense. Yeah. So yeah, when I got yeah, to the cinema, yeah. it was like, oh, it was two days ago. You know what I mean? I've, so I've done that, but I haven't gone, oh, this is my seat. I've gone, oh, I fucked up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, you probably didn't realize until he got there, which is fair enough, I guess. But not going to lie, I feel like that made that movie just that little bit better. <laughs> I reckon it did. Especially if he was being a dickhead about it and you told him to just get the fuck out of there. <laughs> well, he was definitely dirty. I, I was definitely I, I dirty that. about it. But, but about, honestly, but, if it, but the context of it being like a packed cinema, right? Yeah. People that like come in and you're in their seat, right? Yeah. Because I've done it before, like just sat in a random seat, like right in the middle. If the cinema's packed, like I'll happily move over to like the seat that I got on the side. Mm. But if there's no one in there, I like, agree just with fucking this. Fucking sit behind or sit next to me. Who cares? I get that. You know, what I mean, I, it's weird because you can't have it both ways, and I and I get that, right? But at the same time, I see your point of view because I'm the same. If I go into a cinema and it's empty, it's like pff, just sit wherever. Yeah. If it's packed, you got to sit where you're sitting. A hundred percent. But if it's empty and then you sat in like the one person sitting who goes, "I'm sitting there," I'm like, "Bro, there's like three hundred other chairs." Like. Yeah. Surely you can find a better seat. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I, so I get that too. Yeah, it just makes you think, fuck, what an idiot. Like, I don't know. That's very personally. But then like, it depends how early you get there because then if people start coming in and people have to shuffle around, it's a bit of a... If It's be, a bit of a sack. Just fucking get your, your ticket right in the first place. Yeah, be honest. If that happened to you, my situation, would you have reacted the same way? No. You wouldn't have done it. You wouldn't have gone up to the guy saying... Oh, if I was you? If you were me. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Uh, Would you go on, I got in the usher? Or I don't just go? really like confrontation. <laughs> it was a confrontation. But I probably would have... If it was a packed cinema and I really want to watch that movie, yeah, I probably would have gone and said... It was a packed cinema. These are my tickets. He's saying it's my tickets, but I'm pretty sure I booked. Can you just check? Yeah. 
And then if you said, oh, yeah, your, your seeds, then I would have gone, all right, well, can you explain it to the kid over there? So you would, so... It, I would have done what you, done, what you did. You would have done it. Okay. I would have done it. Yeah. Okay. No, you're not, you're not an asshole. You're not an asshole. For Definitely not the asshole. <laughs> skr, skr. All right, let's go. We've got an unpopular opinion. Oh, yeah. Back to the Reddit stories, guys, for anyone's listening. I think this has been a pretty good podcast, actually. A bit, yeah? A, bit, a little bit of it, yeah. I think so. I'm enjoying it. I'm having good fun. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I read this and I immediately just went, what the fuck? So this is unpopular opinion. I like the feeling of wearing wet socks. Disgusting. Straight off the bat. Th- there is no argument that could be made for liking wet socks. There is none. There's none. That's the most tapped thing. That's cap. I think I've heard. <laughs> like Damn. actually just tapped in the brain like not normal all right because i can't, I can't name you one situation where i've had wet socks on and i've just been like yeah i love this feeling oh squishy oh you scared me shivers let me let me read to you what they said i actually haven't read this <laughs> looks like i haven't read any of it so i love the refresh the refreshing let me start again i love the refreshing feeling of it Never understood why people were so against it. Whenever it rains, I always make sure to put my feet in it while I have socks on. <laughs> For some reason, I just really like the sloshy feeling on my feet, <laughs> especially when I'm in shoes. Oh, disgusting. Yes, you heard me right. I could honestly get my socks wet and put them in shoes and proceed to go out for the day. It's the next best thing to sex. Honestly, don't knock it until you try it, people. Oh my God. Let this me tell you something. He's fucked. Fucking tapped. There is no shot. No shot. That's definitely an unpopular opinion because I, I can't name you. I, pff, we did a fucking survey of like 100 people. I guarantee at least 99 of them are going to say no. I reckon 100 of them. There's like This is probably one guy in a million. Probably one sick guy that just loves like that feeling of wetness on his... I, I get pissed off when I walk in a puddle and then it goes through, like especially if you've got boots on and the water goes through your shoe and then it goes into your socks. I literally, like, my face, I get angry. I just go, like, I've had it I though, hate it. When I've been on, like, a job, or I've been, like, in bush, right? Mm. It's always in bushy areas. Always, because it's, like, the dew off the leaves. And then also, the, when if, if it rains, 10 times worse. Mm. And it just, like, drips off your pants into your boot. Right? Oh, I've never had that. So there's one time I was like, at it, like, Wellington. And it was pissing down, pissing down, right? Your favorite. So, and because it's like long distances. Yep. You're nowhere near the car. So if... Oh, so you couldn't park... Oh, where you were like... So you would set up and then where you're doing your survey, you have to walk like... You have far. to walk like two hours or an hour just to get to that location. And it's like an hour walk back. Oh, so you can't even drive there? No, you can't. Oh. Because it's all... You get bogged down or you might pop a tire. So once you get, Fuck. you have to go on the track and then you uh, once you're on the track, you go off the track. And so you, this is like farmlands and stuff like that and big hills for wind and stuff. Yeah. So once you've trekked it out, right? So there's one, I, remember, I actually remember this because you called me. Did I? You, you, you called me one day. <laughs> yeah. And we were having a conversation. I can't remember when it was. I think it was when you were at the new place. Yeah. Okay. Um. I think I remember this. You're at the new place. Like, hey, bro, what are you up to? <laughs> Fuck, you want to be fucking honest? <laughs> I remember this. You were not happy. Oh, you're like, bro, I'm finishing early. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I got wet socks on. <laughs> Getting pissed down on, right? Water in my face, water on the screen. I can't see shit. The electronics just start fucking up when it's all wet. Oh, it's fucked. And I was, and it just slows you down because then I'm like every step, slosh, slosh, slosh. <laughs> Smells like fucking shit because the cows, have, it's a cow paddock. Oh. And I was there and I was just, had that, and had a sledgehammer on me, had the instrument on me and I'm hauling these, these pegs in my backpack as well. So I'm just, I'm hauling. How it. did you not have an assistant with you that day? Just off topic. No, it was me and, and, and Chris. Oh, you, okay. But still, but why we, didn't you have, we went separate. Why didn't you to, have assistance? To cover more ground. Fuck, man. Like, you're carrying so much gear. 
Yeah, I know. But I, I, I could manage it because I had the backpack and I had one hand for each. It wasn't wasn't too bad, but it's just annoying. Hard can't. It, it would be better two people. Like for sure, been better two people. But we'll just. It was like the last day, so we're just trying to smack it out. Oh, right. And okay. We're, we're just covering ground. Yeah, yeah. We smashed it that day, actually. And I remember, like, on the phone with you, and it was just like, because it's raining, my, my AirPods are getting wet, so I had to have my hoodie over, but then I'm sweating. And it's just like a combination of oh, all just this shit. fuckery. And I was like, but, you know, once you're in the zone, it's kind of like you block it out, and you just like, you, I'm listening to my headphones, I'm like, all right, I'm just going to get. I'm smashing this out. I'm getting this done. Nothing will take out the fact that your socks are wet though. But the fact that my socks are wet, just like it just every like five minutes, you just get that reminder of like slip, slip. Oh. And then also your feet just start to like curl up. Yes, dude. You start after a while. It's making my feet curl. Like after literally you're like an hour it. in wet socks, you just start to get that feeling of like, just feeling dirty and grabbing like, I can't wait to go home, shower, whatever. That feeling of like, you go, I'm driving home. And I'm gonna have a shower. Yeah. Oh, because they. The well, one- that's how like a lot of like uh, veterans, war veterans, got um, gangrene on their feet and had to get their feet chopped off. Really? Yeah, just from like three days, like a whole probably longer, but like a week straight of like being out in the trenches in the field. Fuck, dude. Right, you you got mud, you got dirt, you got all this shit that goes into your shoes. And, and if they, you don't clean your feet. Uh, yeah, that's what happened. But they're not they're not cleaning their feet because they're constantly like in under 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 pressure. Yeah. So they're not taking their boots off at all. So they're not even giving their their feet time to breathe or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So having your foot constantly wet, that's how you just get like diseases and shit. But like, it's just chat. It's just that. Yeah, honestly, I, 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 I don't know how this person can genuinely think that having wet socks on is like. And he said, "Don't knock until you try it." I don't want to try it. I have tried it. Well, I, unwillingly. I, I, yeah, I unwillingly had it and not liked it. In the slightest, if anything, it makes me very, very angry. I could do bare feet wet. Bare feet's different wet because that's like going in like swimming. Yeah, that's right. You know what I mean? That's fine. Oh, I can't even imagine. Imagine swimming in like the beach with your socks on. Oh, imagine walking out. What do you reckon that feels with like? Swimming with socks on. Haven't you ever done... Um, did you ever go swimming lessons? Yeah. Did you ever do um, like where they would throw you in with clothes on and you had to like tread on water for like five minutes? Once. I had to do it and they, they said you got to wear jeans, long shirt, and I think you had to wear socks as well. How old were you? Like, I did it a few times. I, any, I think between the ages of like 14 and like nine. Fuck. Yeah, I did it once when I was like nine for primary school when you'd go to school. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I thought I was going to die. Yeah, that's why they do it. It's like a full safety thing. Like, so you can like tread it on water as long as you can. We had to do it for five minutes. Yeah, no, they they wanted us to get unchanged in the water. Or oh, unchanged. Yeah, so I had to get unchanged, and I was trying to take off my shirt, and I couldn't get because they make you go under the water to take it off. You have to. You can't do it above. Yeah, so I went underwater to take it off, and I got stuck. So I was underwater trying to and get it. And did it get stuck on your face? Yeah, and oh. I couldn't get it off, and I I legitimately thought I was gonna die. It's what's it what's it called when they um, feeling? What's it called when they like you, they pour something on your face while you got and it feels like you're choking? But waterboarding. Waterboarding. That's it. I couldn't think of the word. That's what it's like. Yeah. That's far. Scary. That was one probably like one of the scariest moments. I still remember it. I was fucking nine years old. I still remember it. I had a I had a bad encounter when I was younger, but I I genuinely don't remember it. So I think because of that, I still have I still love swimming. Mm. Maybe if I was a little bit older, I probably wouldn't have liked it. Who knows? Maybe. I do love swim though. Fuck, I love swim. Oi, I'm gonna ask you a question. Because technically, this this will come out in 2024, but we're recording. So I think today is t- December 16th. So we haven't hit Christmas yet. So I'm going to ask you now. Nice and then we'll probably end it there. Winter or summer Christmas? I have to say summer because I don't know a winter Christmas. That is a very valid point to be fair. But I, I think even if I did experience a, a winter Christmas, I would choose summer for sure. I'd... Would much rather forty degrees, like if I'm looking at extreme streams of it. Yeah, I'd like a blistering hot day over a fucking freezing cold day. Oh yeah, I I prefer the the hot over the cold. But that's for sure. We're used to it in Australia, but I've never. I really want to like experience. I think if I had a winter Christmas, I would say winter Christmas, just because I think it would. I'd get excited for it. Like if I was in Europe and it was Christmas time. Like you've never done it before, so you're excited. Yeah. So like the excitement would kind of make me more biased towards it. But yeah. if I'm thinking realistically, like. 
December time, Christmas time, that's holiday time. Yep. Holiday, I got free time. Or better thing to do than go to the beach. Like, that's my favorite thing to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go 100%. to the beach. So, I'd have to probably say summer. Oh, dude. Oh, fuck. Died. Just now? I don't know how long. Your one's still going. Oh, well, let's, let's fucking... Let's just wrap it up. Let's fucking... How long are we going for? Oh, it's gone for like an hour and seven minutes. So, apologies. The, the video's going to cut out. I've, I think I've just got to upgrade the camera now. Yeah. I think I've just got to upgrade it. Or at least, yeah, I think I think I know what's happened. I forgot to clear their memory and it's probably gone 40 minutes and then the other's going to disappear now. Oh, so this will stop automatically. Once it gets too full, it just stops. And, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Fuck, we might miss out on some good content. Fuck. Uh, that's all right. It is what it is. All right, guys, let's wrap it up here. So thank you all for tuning into this week. Like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. And I'll see you guys at the next episode. Peace out. Ciao. Ciao, ciao.